Since September, more than 400 students and teachers in Okaloosa County have tested positive for COVID-19. It's the school district with the highest number in Northwest Florida. Cody Long joins us live tonight in Pensacola. And Cody, I know you've been looking at numbers in Okaloosa and Pensacola throughout Northwest Florida. Yeah, Peter, and out of the uh, three Florida counties in our viewing area, Escambia County here actually has the most uh, teachers and students in the Northwest Florida area, but they actually have the lowest number of COVID-19 cases in schools. Looking at COVID-19 in the classroom, these are the numbers of cases reported in schools from September 6th to November 14th. Escambia County, 184 cases, Santa Rosa, 242, and Okaloosa, 407. Just this week, the Okaloosa County School Board approved a policy strongly encouraging face coverings, but some board members think that's not enough. Dr. Kelly, how do you vote? I will vote yes, though you know I wanted them uh, required. Masks are also encouraged in Santa Rosa and Escambia County schools. Now is the time to galvanize and reinforce our district policy about masks and about health and safety measures. That's Carol Cleaver, a teacher at Ferry Pass Middle School in Escambia County and vice president of the local teachers union. She addressed the school board this week. We have students that are being pulled for quarantine daily. We definitely have staff members that are getting sick. We looked into the schools with the highest numbers in Northwest Florida. Fort Walton Beach High School reported 79, the highest of any school in the state. Pace High, 52, and Pensacola Catholic High School is reporting 33. And the health department notes that viral transmission seems to occur almost entirely outside school campuses. And we have more on these schools with the highest numbers in each county. If you click on this story at WKRG.com under the Northwest Florida tab. Live in Pensacola, I'm Cody Long, WKRG News 5.